Hello and welcome everyone. In this lecture, I'm going to help you install NASM Assembler on Ubuntu as well as GCC. Now, if you don't have Ubuntu Linux, you can install it for free in VirtualBox on Windows or Mac by following the guide here. So scan the QR code, it'll take you straight to the video, which will show you how to install VirtualBox along with Ubuntu Linux. And Ubuntu Linux is an operating system essentially, okay? We'll be learning Assembler on Ubuntu Linux because Ubuntu Linux is designed for software development. Uh, you will be able to apply most of what you learn over to Windows or, or Mac if you later decide to install the same assemblers on Windows or Mac. So you can pause the video now and install VirtualBox on Windows or Mac along with Linux and then continue watching this video where we will install NASM Assembler and GCC. Okay, everyone, you should have uh, Ubuntu installed at this point on VirtualBox. On the desktop, I want you to right click and we're gonna say open in terminal. And we're just gonna do make directory and we're gonna call it course. And you'll just see this little folder at the bottom right now on your desktop that says course. This is where all our course materials will go, okay? So we're just going to cd inside, and then we're going to say sudo apt install gcc. You're going to put your password. And gcc is a C compiler, by the way, because we will be mixing some C code in our assembly further on in the course, okay? Don't worry if you don't know C. Uh, those parts of the course will be optional. And here we're going to say sudo apt install NASM. Now NASM is a assembler which will allow us to assemble our assembly code that we'll be writing. And finally, I want you to install JDB, which is a debugger. It'll allow us to debug the assembly code if something should go wrong. Now you can just do NASM-V and it should say NASM version, uh, and it'll tell you the version you have. Mine's 2.16, don't worry if yours is higher. And again, you can do GCC-V to see your GCC version, okay? And I have version 13. Again, the versions don't need to match, they're mostly backwards compatible when they make new versions. So you've successfully installed everything you need to start writing assembly language. Keep following the course, and we'll be writing assembly language shortly.